La 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 la. I'm going to sing until somebody gets here. Fair warning. Here we go. I see people. Come on down. Boom, 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 boom. There's Marla. Hey, Marla. We had a Chinese fest last night. And it was, uh, you know, super interesting to make that, uh, make it happen so that there wasn't all this inflammation next, you know, the next day. There's Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Kayla's one of my NutraCoach students. I'm excited for her and for what she's going to be doing soon. Get graduated, Kayla. We have things to do. There's Tracy. She is a grad. She is working on all of her stuff right now. Exciting stuff. Listen, if you don't know what I'm talking about with NutraCoach, go to NutraCoachSchool.com. Christine says she likes to hear me sing. <laughs> All right. I love you, Christine. Good girl. <laughs> I paid her to say that. I'm just kidding. Okay. Hello, Shelly. Catherine, good morning, everybody. Bring everyone in. It's so good to see you. Jan. She says, I'm hoping I'm the winner this week. You are. <laughs> I've got two winners this week. One of them is Jan Ballard. I didn't know the throw thrower part, but I've got the Jan Ballard part. Anyway, yes, you're a winner. You just b burst my bubble. Listen, we had a lot of views this weekend. I don't know what happens on the weekend, but, you know, our, our views blew up into, you know, a very hefty five figures. Who knew? I love it, but you're sharing and you're caring, which is really great. Meg and Rita, good afternoon. Keep sharing, you guys. Sharing is caring. And uh, today I'm going to be sharing all kinds of juicy stuff with you. Um, like I said in on the post, it is still there is still time for the club. We have our first club meeting, if you will. It's it's I feel like it's we're in a treehouse. And it's just me and the girls, and we're going to get down to, to business and, and all of that. I'm super excited about it because this is the way that we get personalized with our journeys. I mean, this is, right? This is what we need to do. So if you're in the club, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you're not in the club, follow that link, savingdinner.com slash club, uh, savingdinner.com slash webinar. If you want to see a webinar that leads up to what the club is about, it's all about personalization. It is all about personalization. I have come to that huge conclusion, all my research, everything that I'm doing for the book, it is about personalization. And it's also about magic, you guys. You want to know why I'm talking about that? Because the quote of the week is this. Logic only gives... Okay, so the guy used male pronouns in this. This is Tom Robbins, the guy who wrote Even Cowgirls Get the Blues, which I read in college. You know, that's part and parcel of what you do. You read all these wacko um, <laughs> type books. He's a novelist. Tom Robbins said this. So he uses all with male pronouns. I am using it with wo woman pronouns because that's who we are, right? We are all a bunch of women. Logic only gives woman what she needs. Logic gives woman what she needs. Magic gives her what she wants. Tell me if you don't love that. Magic gives her what she wants. And the whole thing about it is, I, you know how I just, I keep saying that the power is within you and that you just need to bring out that power. When you're bringing out that power, the magic comes with it. Power and magic go hand in hand. They, they're like best friends just skipping down the hill like Jack and Jill holding a pail of whatever, except they don't spill it. <laughs> There's power there. There's power in the magic. I believe in magic. I believe in magic. I believe in the things that happen within us that will spark all kinds of things. And, you know, one of the things that I'm going to start doing is uh, reading, oopsies, is reading from my journal a little bit. I'm going to share some of my journal sp stuff. Not all of it, just some, because um, some of it's just past personal and, I'm, you, know, there's, you know, there's only so much that I'm going to give you <laughs> on that front. But, you know, logic is, is our best friend. We can, we can fill in the blank with logic, right? Logic is, oh, I ate this. I feel like crap. There we go. There's your logic connection right there. Or your magic thing is when you say, okay, I see this. 
I understand this. This is what happens. Eat crap, feel like crap. But the magic is, is when you turn that instead of into a repetitive behavior, you turn it into to magic because now it's experience that has taught you a lesson and now you have this magical motivation so that you're able to bypass that the next time around. Bing! Light bulb's going off. Yeah, Lucy just put, put the light bulb thing there. Yep, it is. It is. We have those abilities. We have those capabilities inside of us. And if you've ever noticed, and tell me if you're this person, have you ever noticed that as you get creative with your solutions, and when you get creative with your understanding and going past what you've already known, when you go past that and you expand the borders of your mind, you expand the borders of your understanding, have you noticed that magic somehow creeps in? Have you noticed that your reticular activating system is working on your behalf? Suddenly, the people that you need are there to support you. Suddenly the solutions, they just come to you. Somebody says something and you're going, that's it. Have you noticed this happening in your life? If you've noticed this, then you have seen your own piece of magic. We all have it inside. We have it inside and I believe it goes with our power. It comes with the power. With the power comes the magic. Write that down. With the power comes the magic because we bring that to us. We bring that to us. And it's, it's, we, we look at it and we say, oh my goodness, what is this? H how did this happen? This is incredible. I can't believe this is happening in my life. And I read these stories that you guys send in to me over and over and over again. And lest we think that it's all, just one little thing, it isn't one little thing. Sometimes it's that one thing that we do that goes and just starts opening doors that we never knew that we had the option to open before. The switches start to go off. Marla and I were talking about that. It's like when your body starts to change, because I have a whole new attitude toward plateaus, because I've had one for weeks. I'm starting to slide again, but I've had one for weeks. But a plateau is letting you know that inside the work is being done. It's invisible work, but there's magic going on inside of your body too. Can you just appreciate that for a minute? It shouldn't cause you to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And let me just mention that for most of us, this weight issue problem has been something that we have been dealing with for decades. You think you can just go like that and change it up? Not really. You can take a plan and you can get started on it for sure. That's what we do with the sprint, right? That's what we do. But you don't have to get sidetracked and think that, oh, this is not working, so I'm, therefore I'm just going to toss it all out. It isn't that. It's that you haven't tackled and held on to your own magic and your own power. That's the cool thing, is the magic and the power. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but first I have to give my books away because that's what I do. And I also need to let you know that if you are in the club, if you are in the club, two o'clock on Thursdays is our teaching and coaching time right there on Facebook and you'll want to come with paper and pen and be prepared. There will be a time where I'm going to ask you not to chat and then afterwards we will have a time. It's going to be a direct teaching time and there's going to be a direct coaching time and we will end promptly at 2.45. It's a 45 minute session. It's going to be great. I'm super excited about it. And um, I can't wait to share all of this with you. It's going to be really fun. So Jan Ballard, thrower, won one. And also Susie Bowman Smuck. Susie Bowman Smuck. Both of you guys need to send in your emails to support at savingdinner.com with your address so we can send these in the mail. Yay! Say, give it up for these girls. Round of applause. Round of applause. Isn't that fun? And the other thing that I would say to club members who are here and listening, take back your life. This is on its way in the mail to you. In the meantime, you, if, if you're a yearly member, in the meantime, your PDF is there and ready for you to download. We have sent a humongous email that you have, I hope to heavens have saved because everything that you need is in there. 
And in that email, it's going to be t talking about this and we will get the workshop posted in the Facebook group. It's not in there yet, but I will get that done for you. Okay. So just watch for that. Also, lots of questions. I've had a lot of questions about addiction and how to, you know, and, and getting through, um, getting past the addictions. And, I, and I'm just going to say that addictions and the awareness of addictions, um, food addictions, what, however they show up, I believe with all my heart that it, it is for us uh, to determine and to find the magic and the power so that we can overturn them once and for all. And for most of us, that means abstinence. And if you've read about my chocolate struggle, boy, is it in here. Um, and I will just tell you right now that, you know, chocolate struggles for me, I'm just done with. I'm just done with. And I have decided that abstinence is my best policy. Sort of like how some most alcoholics need to live their lives of just being um, abstinent. Okay? So that's just what you need to know. That's, that's how I look at it from, from my, my own personal perspective. But if you're, you know, if you haven't read Body Clutter, Body Clutter really deals with this. Somebody just said something about a set weight. That's a good one because I, you know, I've been, I'm researching set weights right now. There's a lot of information out there, you guys. Um, but Body Clutter deals with um, what it looks like and what our attachments are to these addictions. You know, I mean, it's obviously, it's a behavior that we use to comfort ourselves, but it's also a behavior that, you know, post behaving like that, we end up with a lot of guilt and it just makes things a million times worse, but we can get past that. You know, that's again, this is when we pull out the power. This is when we pull out the creativity. This is where the magic happens, you know, and when we understand that all of us are creative, Understand that part, that we're all creative. You just haven't maybe tapped into the creativity for a long time. But when we can start being creative and when we can start opening up our minds and, and looking for the creativity, it's going to meet you halfway. Again, the reticular activating system, you understand about that. That's the part of your brain that when you decide that you're going to buy, you know, a Toyota Prius, Suddenly, everybody on the road seems to be driving a Toyota Prius. They were all there before. You just didn't notice. And that's exactly what your reticular activating system does for you. It shows you. It, it, you open up your mind to be able to see new solutions. Your creativity is there. You just haven't tapped in. And when we get to tap into our creativity, hello, new strength, new power, new imagination, new magic. It all happens. It is there for us. PB is here. What is PB? I don't know what PB is. Okay. So understand this. And I read this quote today and I don't even remember where it was. Honestly, it was somewhere, but it says you've always been beautiful. Just now you have decided it's time to take your health to a new level. You know, we have a tendency to put off and to say that until we get to a certain place, we're just not worthy of whatever, but we've all been there. We've all been beautiful. We've all, we, and we all are beautiful. It's just a smaller version of ourselves, maybe losing the body clutter. It's, it's just a matter of, of how we're seeing ourselves. And I want you to see yourself right now today as beautiful in all your body clutter glory all your body clutter glory because you are who you are regardless of what size jeans you're in regardless of what color lipstick you wear regardless of how you're going to do your hair or not do your hair or whatever understand that about yourself that's who you are today and understanding and embracing your own inner beauty and your own outer beauty in all your glory where you are today helps you to get you to the next place it helps you to get to the next place we talk about this in body clutter. It wasn't until we understood that we have to love ourselves right where we are today so that we can love ourselves to the next degree. We get stuck. Otherwise we get stuck. So our imaginations are super important because we get an opportunity to see our own, 
our, ourselves into the future as well as right now. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give you an assignment right now today. Understand that you are beautiful. Understand that you deserve to have your hair cut and, and styled in a certain way, that you can wear makeup, that you can wear clothes that are cute and flattering, regardless of where you are today. Do not wait. I've told you my story uh, a few times about the, the nursing bra. I got busted by a woman in with Marla. Marla and I were shopping in, in uh, Lane Bryant, and she saw me sitting there with the stupid nursing bra on in the, and my kids are 13 and 14 at the time. I'm wearing the nursing bra and she said, girl, we got to pull these girls up. You'll, you'll look like you've lost 10 pounds if you just pull the girls up. And she also said to me that, you know, she kind of shook her head and tisk, tisk, tisked me, you know, like, Hey, you got to take care of yourself. It was that moment that I realized that I needed to love myself for where I was right now. What, I'm going to wait to have pretty underwear until I'm the right size? Really? You are the right size right now for where you are. Do you understand that? You might be changing. You might be transforming. You might be whatever. You might, you might even not hold on to the weight that you are if you're you know, in our groups and just sliding down. You know, look at Marla. I keep telling her those 240s aren't going to last forever, but you're going to be sliding before you know it. Don't stay too long in the 20s. You need the 18s. This, is, this happens. But for heaven's sakes, love yourself where you are right now. Get out of that stupid nursing bra. Put, go get a pretty bra. Get a pretty bra and love yourself today. The magic is in the moment. The magic is in the moment and your transformation is all inside of your head. Because if you look at yourself with brand new eyes and see yourself as this marvelous melting machine, you will. Your mindfulness is the most important part. We've talked about that. So just a quick stuff because we have a little bit of time. Just understand that when you're consciously creative, then you're able to make the moment count. You're able to make the moment count for now and make the moment count into the future. You're always doing things that are building toward your future by planning and doing the things that are necessary. Keep that going. Be consciously creative. And I'll also understand that as you do this, you open up your, your mind. The creativity comes. I promise you, even if you felt like you, can, you don't have the creativity to do, you know, to even cut out a, a, a paper doll at this point, it doesn't matter. What, what you have to do is you have to do first and then the, the kudos come later. When you, you know, when you're constantly stepping out into the unknown and, you know, I will tell you right now, your brain hates the unknown. That's why you're always trying to go back to what you know. You're always trying to go back. Even if it's the most destructive thing in the world, that's what you know. That's why we have these cravings. That's why we keep going. But, but carbohydrates have never let me down before. I mean, that's what your brain is telling you. And that much of it is true. And the rest of it is a big fat lie. It hasn't let you down. It's made you feel better for the moment, but then the repercussions are legendary and they are, they're lined. I can, I can write a hundred reasons why this is harmful and destructive and has taken you down a wrong path, but it's strong. It's strong. So you have to work with your brain in order to change your mind. You literally have to change your mind and it's possible. Every time you do this, every time you flip the switch and change it up and knowingly go out in courage, knowingly go out against into the unknown and knowingly do all these different things that are, that are creative and constructive for you and your future, you start a new pattern and your brain will eventually go along with you. This is why cravings dissipate. This is why you start getting into habits uh, and losing good habits and losing the bad habits. This is why you no longer feel like you need to eat every minute. And guess what happens? This is the magic that's inside. You're retraining your entire endocrine system. You're retraining your hormones. 
you're retraining those, those, your leptin and your ghrelin, those two hormones that when they get out of whack, they just bombard you with horrible, <laughs> horrible cravings. And they keep you hostage because you're constantly hungry. You can't stop eating all of these things, but you can retrain it. Kimmy says to go boldly where you've never been before. Absolutely. That's the courageous part of it. We have to step out in faith. You know, we understand what the Bible says about that, right? But that's true with absolutely everything. That is a solid universal truth. You have to step out in faith. When you're stepping out in faith, you are stepping into a new realm and you will be rewarded with that because on the back end of it, you'll feel motivated. You'll feel excited about what you're doing. You'll grab the whole uh, physics part, part, uh, part of the equation here of momentum and you just keep going. You keep going and then you create a brand new pathway for your brain. How fabulous is that? When we can create new pathways for our brains and new habits for our lives and just and get the, the icky automatic pilot of all those, those crushing behaviors that have just brought us down and continually harm us, then we've changed our lives, ladies. We have changed our lives and it begins with one decision. So understand this. Logic only gives woman what she needs. It's the magic that gives her what she wants. What do you want? Think about that. What do you really want with all your heart? If you can write that down and you can articulate on that, then you can start creating those scenarios for yourself and the opportunities and the people. They come to you. It's your reticular activating system. Suddenly you flipped that switch. You flip that switch. When you flip that switch, the world is your oyster. And how awesome is that? That's the place that we all want to live from, right? I know that's where I want to live from. I don't want to live from the place of, of just being small and narrow and negative. So listen, this, you know, the, the overriding quote that we can use on all of this is what do you want? Do you want to be powerful or do you want to be pitiful? Choose because you can't be both at the same time at all. Start writing things down. Use your journal, use your IMs, use these Facebook lives to keep you motivated and going. I swear to you, in every single Facebook live, I'm always thinking about if I were feeling X, Y, and Z, what would I need to hear right now? And that's every day I come to you with that in mind. I give you things that I need to hear myself. I need to hear, I need to know that the magic is happening inside even if I can't see anything on the scale. I need to know that a plateau is just, just a little place for a little while. And yes, we can shake the box. And yes, we can get things going again. But also understand the magic that's going on inside and that we have the ability to really appreciate and, and really have a whole lot of gratitude for what is happening. It's amazing. And you know, to think that it started with just a little seven day plan, a little sprint to show you what your body is capable of, to show you what you are capable of and to dig deep and find your own power and then in turn find your own magic. How cool is that? Magic will never ever stop happening for you as long as you're continually digging. As long as you are continu continually digging for the beauty and the magic that is already inside of you and understand that with the power, it also comes with the power. It also comes. It will never leave you stranded. It won't. You'll be able to figure it out. I promise you trust yourself, trust in your own magic. Trust in your inner nutritional guru and train her up. She is your very best friend and she is going to take you on this ride all the way if you just trust her. And that's what I'm about. That's what I'm teaching you about, especially if you are part of the club. You're going to be hearing about this a lot because my goal at the end of the club when your year is up is to say bye-bye 
like a baby bird and shove you right out of the nest because you are trained and ready. That's my goal. That is my goal. And if, if, if I can activate your, your whole self, your whole being, your brain into understanding this and becoming that powerful, you'll never ever again be swayed or seduced into another diet book, another guru, diet guru out there who's just out there to pick your wallet, take you on another trip down, you know, the diet, diatribe. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that. What we need is a plan for our lives. What we need is a plan for our lives that heal our bodies, heal our minds, and bring us to the, our place of our own personal power. And sister, you have it. I promise you, it's right there. So listen, we have a free group. It's called The Sprint, and it starts one, one time a month. We start on November 4th. If you're not a part of it, go to savingdinner.com slash sprint. You can start right now. You can go ahead and start right now. It's, it's you know, you, you just have to go to Saving Dinner first, get into our Facebook group and watch what happens. I've seen massive miracles in there. I have seen women make a, a, a whole new life out of what they started with. I have seen it. I have seen people take pictures of their scales. I have seen Linda say, my 27.2 pounds says, I don't want to look back. I have a lot of Lindas like that in my group and it's the magic is happening in their lives. The magic is happening because they're taking action. They're stepping out into the unknown, trusting in the process. And in the meantime, their power, their motivation, their magic is showing up. And I want you to be a part of that. And if you've already done it and you're wondering what's next, come on into the club. I will personalize your plan for you. Go to savydinner.com slash club. Oh, and remember, get your supplements now. Go to savingdinner.com and just click on the supplements tab. It's right on the right hand corner. I'm just saying this because we're going to have a week of transition as we bring our supplements in house. So as we do that, I just want I just want to give you the heads up that now's the time to get them while the, our distribution company still has them. Okay, go grab your supplements. We just made a big order today. Things are happening, people. Magic gives you what you want. Magic. And we have our own magic, every single one of us, inside of us, that's just waiting to come over and, and show us what, what we're about. Okay? Do you understand that? You're not going to go backwards. You're going to go forward. And the way that you do this is by harnessing your inside power and therefore your, your own personal magic. It is there and it's there for you. So I appreciate you on this magical motivational Monday. And thank you so much for joining us. And Jan and Sandy, look for your books. They're gonna go in the mail today. And I, I will say this too. I appreciate all of you who have trusted me and have joined the club. Um, it's gonna be busy. I've got like al almost 100 <laughs> Uh, personal appointments. So be patient. We're going to open up the calendar a little bit so that you can get your, um, your, your personal appointment done. This is what it's about though. And this is how we can get into where you are and what you need to do. And listen, if I don't have the question, the, the answer to the question, I will find out. That's, that's just how I roll. I will find out. I will not leave you hanging. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time and thank you again for sharing uh, these videos. This is how we bring people into the fold and we give them our personal magic and motivation formula because we all have it. And I appreciate you too, all of you who pipe up and they and you talk and you, you post questions, you ask questions, you help other people out in the sprint. This is one of the most amazing things that I have ever seen. Sisters helping other sisters. And this is a sisterhood. It is strong. It is, it is incredible. It's extraordinarily motivational. And if you're not a part of it, you're missing the boat. Strongly suggest you get a, become a part. Thanks for joining me. Peace. I will see you at tea time. Bye.